Wondered we also look to the next hour as we see another nice daybreak developing mm -hmm. outside. You can see the humidity, Marcus. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know it's bad if you can actually see it. <laughs> so we're feeling it, right? It's, man, you could go swimming in the air this weekend. It was so thick, right? It, it was just nasty, and unfortunately, we're kind of rolling that over here to start off the work week. If there's any good news with the high humidity, remember that's all it is is moisture content in the air. It's allowed for some pretty good downpours. These are estimated numbers over the last couple of days. This is actually, I added three day rainfall in here. So this will take you back all the way to Friday. And uh, officially in Indianapolis, this number is a little bit off. I think officially we were just shy of an inch and a half. You can see it was a little bit sporadic in areas. There were some areas that estimated over three inches of rain. You get up into places like Benton County, it was three to five inches of rain. There actually was some flash flooding going on on Saturday because of the heavy rain. There were some pockets that just didn't do quite as well. Martinsville, just around a half an inch. I know down in Johnson County, you didn't get a whole lot. Same thing down in Shelby County as well. But hang in there. We do have more chances for rain, so we're not done just yet. If you need more, We've got some opportunities here, and some of you are picking up on that here this morning. This is a live look at Storm Track 8 Storm Tracker. You've got some showers right now in southern portions of central Indiana. Uh, northeastern Lawrence County, pretty good downpour. Do have one lightning strike. I think that's actually closer down to the Ohio River. Looks like near Brownstown, you've got a few showers in Jackson County. But all of this is moving away from Indianapolis. If you live in Bloomington, you may have some wet roads to contend with here early this morning, but the rest of us likely are dry for the morning commute. 74 at 7 o'clock to 73 at 9 and then back up to 78 by 11 o'clock. It's going to be awfully stuffy today. We're going to continue to increase our rain chances as we go throughout your Monday. And it's today's not the only day for rain. In fact, I think we have better rain chances incoming as we get later on into this week. Here's Futurecast. Uh, best rain chances I think are going to come around and after lunchtime today. This is Futurecast at noon. Just some spotty showers, but you see those flare ups of showers and storms. I'm not expecting any severe weather for the day today, but potentially some really heavy downpours as we start going into the afternoon. Do be aware of that. That will continue into the early to mid evening hours and then kind of like the past couple of evenings, our shower chances really wane, although we could still have some few spotty showers while you're sleeping overnight. Now, as we gear up for your Tuesday, I think we're going to have better chances for more widespread rain. This is at noon on Tuesday. Pretty good batch of showers and thunderstorms starting to take shape. That will continue to fill on in across much of the area for your Tuesday afternoon. And we'll even continue to trend with some thunderstorm risks late tomorrow night and heading into Wednesday morning. So again, several opportunities for beneficial rain to the tune of one to two inches with locally higher amounts possible through the midweek. 71 right now, winds are out of the south and west at three miles per hour. 72 South Bend, 73 down in Evansville, 74 in Louisville, 70 in Kokomo and Muncie, 71 currently in Shelbyville. Numbers on their way into the upper 80s this afternoon. May even have a few 90s, 92 in Lafayette, 90 in Bloomington, very stuffy tonight, 83 at 10, 77 at midnight. And tomorrow's temperatures, maybe not quite as hot, but still as humid with those rain chances while we'll highs hit the mid 80s. Chapman heating and cooling eight day forecast. More rain chances on the way through Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I think relatively dry, but hot and the holiday weekend also quite steamy as well with the 4th of July at 90 upper 80s for Brickyard 400 Sunday. Stephanie. All right. Thanks, Marcus. Let's take a look at our drive into work this morning. And for those heading out right now, we do have a stall.